Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. It's Goose coming at you with a guide for how to claim those sweet parallel assets using Fusion in Zellcore. Stay tuned. Okay, one of the perks of mining or running your own nodes on the Flux network is the fact that you can earn Flux coins from the native blockchain. But not only that, you can earn additional tokens on other chains. These are what we call parallel assets. And now you don't get the same number of them, it's just a percentage of them, but nevertheless, they're still accruing on these other chains. So as you mine and as your rewards come in, they're not just coming into a single uh, Flux address, they're also coming into your, your Flux token addresses on several chains. And as of the making of this video, there are five other chains where you would be earning these Flux tokens, and they include Ethereum, Cadena, Solana, Tron, and Binance Smart Chain. So with that in mind, what I thought I would do is show you how you can claim those assets and then how you can transfer them over to native Flux and do what you want with them. Let's get started. If you want to read more about this, go on over to runonflux.io slash parallel. And this site has, of course, the five assets that I had just mentioned, plus five more to come. Those are currently under review, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and get into our Discord server so that you can keep up to date with what's going on. So the question is, what can you do with these assets? Well, they're Flux tokens on those respective chains. And if you're familiar with any of these, you're probably a little familiar with DeFi, right? And so you can go on over to uh, different uh, sites like Uniswap or PancakeSwap and provide liquidity, essentially staking those tokens so that you can earn some more. That's a pretty neat idea. Uh, or you can just transfer them over to native Flux on the main blockchain and then trade them or stake them into a new node so that you're earning even more Flux tokens. In our Zellcore wallet here, I have a Cumulus node earning rewards for the last two weeks. So I definitely have parallel assets that I can claim with this particular address. So I uh, just want to kind of go into the details of how this breaks down for whatever you mine with the either a node or your GPU on the native Flux blockchain, you will be earning 10% of that amount on the parallel asset chains. Okay, so if I mined 10 Flux with my GPUs, then I would have earned one Flux on each of the parallel asset chains. Okay, so let me show you how you can claim that. First, you want to go over here to the left-hand side and click on the Apps menu, and then click on Fusion. From here in the top right-hand corner, just uh, hover your mouse and you'll get a little menu and you're going to select Parallel Mining Claim. And from here, you'll want to select which of the blockchains you want to claim your, your tokens on. And so in this case, uh, let's just start with the Cadena chain, so I'll click on that. And the next thing would be to select the address where you've been mining to. So in my case, I only have one address, but if you have GPUs and nodes, and maybe you mine to a different address than the node addresses, you'll see multiple options here. So you'll have to do it for each one, all right? But in my case, I only have the one address, so I'll click that. And it tells me that my claimable amount here is 5.625 flux, which is 10% of the amount that I have mined with my Cumulus node, okay? So I can then choose which address I want to send this to. So uh, that means I can send it to any one of the different wallet options that I have inside my Zellcore wallet. So in my case, I'm just going to keep it in the mining address here. 
Uh, but what's going to happen is it's going to send those Flux Cadena tokens to my Flux Cadena wallet in the mining wallet. <laughs> it's a little bit convoluted here, but uh, let's look, look at the preview and I'll show you what happened. All right, so we're going from the Flux mining address here, which I provided. That's the claim amount for 5.625 Flux and it's going to Flux KDA token address here in my mining wallet, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and click on Claim Parallel Mining. Okay, it says Parallel Mining Reward Claimed. It does take a while for a parallel mining transaction to be visible on the Explorer. After you're done claiming your rewards for that particular blockchain, you can click the X here, and then you can go down to the next one. So let's go on to Ethereum. And if I select my address, nothing available there. And that is probably because the amount is not high enough to account for the gas fees, okay? Because right now, Ethereum uh, smart contract fees are very high. So I don't yet have enough flux to offset the difference there. So it doesn't even give me the option, okay? Uh, let's go on to the Binance Smart Chain. Go down here, and then we have, yes. An option to claim there the same amount 5.625 that's right and then let's also put that in our mining address click on preview and everything looks good here click on claim parallel mining all right same thing and you can view this in the Explorer if you like click on the X let's go down to the next one flux on Tron chain there we go another 5.625 put that in my mining address preview and then claim parallel mining okay there we go and one more flux on Solana chain click on that and we'll go ahead and set this to mining preview all right and one last thing to take into consideration here is that uh, there is a fee to do this right because uh, we have to pay for transactions and whatnot so the reward that's coming back for the address is going to be minus uh, two flux and that's the that's the charge to actually do this and you can see already i've got an incoming transaction from the tron wallet so let me go ahead and claim this one all right that's done and now let's go back over to our wallet over in our mining wallet, we can now see that we have some Flux tokens. That includes Flux KDA, Flux BSC, and Flux TRX. And each of these has a different amount of Flux tokens in them, and that's because of the fees that we needed to pay in order to get Fusion to claim those assets. So you may want to look into those fees and you know decide whether or not you want to move those. Maybe you want to accrue them a little bit longer on different networks. I mean, that's certainly going to be the case with Ethereum because the smart contract fees are so high just to move tokens around on the Ethereum network. Um, with Tron, as you can see, it was a little higher to move these tokens. I think we ended up paying three flux to make that happen. So yeah, we only got 2.625 flux. Um, so you'll have to kind of decide what's best for you. Uh, now, what can I do with these tokens? Well, like I said, you can use them towards uh, providing liquidity if you have a, a large enough amount of them. Or if you want to just trade them back over to the native flux coin you can do that also with fusion but you will need to have the the main asset um, for whichever chain the tokens are on okay so in our case let's take a look at flux kda All right i have flux kda here so those tokens reside on the cadena network and in order to do anything on the cadena network i need to have some cadena so I can pay for the transaction fee and the gas fees, right? It works the same with Ethereum. So once you figure it out for one asset, you're good for all of them. Uh, that means if I wanna you know, trade these Cadena tokens on the Cadena network, I need to have Cadena. If I wanna trade these uh, Flux Binance tokens on the, on the Binance smart chain, I gotta have the Binance smart chain coin. If I wanna trade the Flux Tron tokens on the Tron network, I have to have Tron in my wallet. Okay, so it won't work if you don't have it and Fusion will tell you why. So let's go take a look at that right now. So we'll go back into our apps menu here, click on Fusion. 
And the default screen is Fusion Swap, and this is exactly where we want to be right now. So to set this up, you want to make sure that you have selected the proper wallet. So at the top of the screen, make sure that you're in the right wallet where all your tokens are located. So in our case, it is the mining wallet. And then it's as simple as you know choosing what you want to sell and what you want to buy. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to go ahead and choose the Flux KDA token. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the max button here to max out my amount at 4.625 Flux KDA. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to choose the Flux native coin. And it's telling me right now that I will receive 3.125 Flux. And that is because there's a fee of 1.5 flux to do the transaction. All right, so um, anytime we do anything with Fusion, it's going to cost us flux to do that. And it will just deduct the flux from the transaction that you're doing, okay, to make it easy for you. So this way you don't even have to have flux in your wallet to make this happen. Uh, in fact, you're, you're going to get flux in your wallet. <laughs> All right, so. 4.625 down to 3.125, that looks good. We'll click on swap and then click yes, swap. All right, it says Fusion is swapping. And now it pops up our progress bar. So we've got the little gear turning and this will go ahead and go through the motions of converting the, K the Flux KDA into actual Flux, all right? And we are looking for a transaction of 3.125 flux. Now you can leave this screen open if you like. Uh, or what I like to do is just click on the show in explore button and that way um, I have a reference to it. Um, and then you can just go about your business. You can close this down. Or if you want to look at your progress, like if you already closed it, if you want to see your progress again, just go back to the top right and click on orders. And that will show you your order right here. And you can click the little down arrow and it'll show you your status here. It's a little smaller window, but it has all the information that you need. So you can check it out on the Cadena blockchain or you can check it out on your Flux mining address. Okay, but nevertheless, it's spinning, it's in the works, and we'll just check back in a few minutes uh, to see the completed transaction. And after about three minutes or so, the transaction was complete and I'm inside my mining address here. We can see now that there is a transaction for 3.125 Flux. And I'm just waiting for that to confirm on the Flux blockchain. So essentially what happened was the Flux KDA tokens were moved off the KDA blockchain and converted into Flux native coins and deposited into this address. So there you have it. How to claim parallel assets using Fusion on Zelcor and convert your token assets over to native flux. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe and join us on the Discord if you have any questions. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.